this is a quick video showing you how to capture a layout within x-ray vision once you have your patient open from your practice management software you're going to see their name in the upper left hand corner in the lower right hand corner and you can click on open patient and their name should be highlighted i have customized my toolbar that i have quick prompts up here to access those formats that I use the most. You can also find your capture layout under capture layout. You can look at these under the icon. There's a scroll bar here. Under list, highlighting them. And under icon and name. However, you prefer to find your layout. So let's choose the four byte wing layout. I'm going to highlight it here and click OK. It brings up the first tile number one with the sensor and the teeth numbers associated with that. Same thing for tile two, tile three, and tile four. From this screen, we would click Capture Series. For training purposes, I'm going to choose my simulator. You would be choosing your sensor. I want you to make sure that these continue to use the server has a check mark and no intermittent prompts has a check mark. So we'll say OK. It's going to prepare the sensor. The image is going to be captured once you've taken it. And it'll immediately populate and move on to the next tile and wait for you to take that image. Once your images are done, acquired all the images that you want, you would simply click Done to save these. But if I needed to retake an image, I simply choose the tile that I need to retake an image and click Take, Retake. Choosing your sensor, I'm going to choose the simulator, and it is an integral x-ray. It readies itself. You capture the image, and now there is a small little icon here at the bottom right hand corner that lets us know that there's another, there's more than one image in that tile. If you retook a second retake, you would have three images here, or four or five. What this is asking of you is that you get to choose which one of these do you want on top, because sometimes our retake is worse than our first take. So that's just allowing you to choose which one of these images do you prefer to see at the top. So once you're through with your acquisition, you would simply hit done to save those images. To view them now, you simply double click on a tile and this layout overview comes up here on the side. You can move that wherever you prefer. I like to use the arrows that are here above the image. And that way you can see it will run you through your series. But I can always double click on this image, move to this tile, double click, and double click. A lot of double clicking. I like to use this to run through my series of acquisition. If I needed to take an additional image, it happens sometimes where we've taken our four bite wings and our patient now tells us they've got a toothache on the number 13, that we want to see the apex of any tooth. I would come into this black area, right click, add a new tile. You see this tile number five has come up. I would highlight it left clicking and click on this camera icon to capture the layout. So we're back into our capture series from the, I'm choosing the simulator, you would be choosing your sensor. And now it's going to capture that additional image and I could click done. So again, right clicking, add a new tile click on the tile, the camera, the capture series from, say okay. 
Now it's assigning it those tooth numbers of a bite wing because we're using a bite wing format. But if we needed to change that, we would right click, tooth information, and from here, if I needed to change this to a deciduous tooth chart, I simply am right clicking on this tooth chart and it brings up you know, the international charting, the British charting. Uh, so if I needed to access any deciduous teeth, I would simply right click. If I wanted to highlight all, I would simply cover it in all and choose all. So I'm going to take this back to the adult tooth and I would then deselect the numbers that do not apply, that are not associated with this image. And click on the tooth that is and say OK. So now when I bring this image up, you can see in the lower right hand corner it's got teeth number 13. That's one way to add an image into a format.